Today we're launching another innocent animal into the air to try and profit off of. And that jump was far less than what we're capable of, so let's give him a little more acceleration. That should get him out there. While we're at it, let's give him a slightly bigger ramp height. That should get him a little more out there. And if I land him just right on his belly, he actually skips once. We didn't get it there, but we did earn a little bit more money. $20. Which means we're gonna reduce our air resistance, and he's gonna fly gracefully through the air to make us ever more money. I don't think we can get him into space this time, but we can certainly try. Managed to bounce him along his stomach a little bit more, so that should be a little more money. $24. And I got some kind of achievement that gave me another $25, so I think that means we can actually afford probably just a glider for 50 whole dollars. So we got $25 for flying 40 feet. If we fly up to 10 feet, we get $25, 45 miles per hour. We're definitely going to get there. Not entirely sure how this glider is going to work, but we'll figure it out eventually. That works way better. And we got another achievement. So that should be some easy money for us, $89. So let's increase his acceleration this many. We used to got a long ways to go. The upper upgrades cost 5,000 and 10,000. We need to reach 40 five miles per hour so we might need to strap a rocket to idiot well you know what i'm gonna strap a rocket to idiot either way i just wanted to see how high we could go there because you get extra money for altitude too and that definitely put us above 10 feet so there's another 25 and another achievement for i don't know what so we have 140 dollars so let's just add a lot of ramp height I mean, the further he has to go before he hits the ocean, the more danger he's in. So we're going to take him up something like that. Can we pick up speed and glide again? We sort of can. Okay, so we got that far. I accidentally pushed through exactly how far we went, but we got $177. Uh, so we're actually going to save up for a rocket. And since we have all the achievements here, we're going to try the 10 foot ramp, which looks something like this. So we're just going to control the flight as best we can. I'm not really sure what the optimal angle is yet, but we'll strap a rocket to him and then nothing's really going to matter that much. But we did get a solid $120 plus a $100 reward. So we have almost $400 already. How much is the second rocket? 2000 Well, we'll give him one little rocket for now and I guess we got to fuel it. That's fine. We have $47 left over. So we'll go ahead and boost that air resistance just a smidge. Now hopefully this carries us through most of these achievements. We did glide for 8 seconds. We need 70 miles per hour. And I feel like rockets are going to be good for gaining extra speed. So if I press spacebar, uh, we can glide for a little bit. That definitely pushes us a lot further. It tells me to use my rockets now. I did that as soon as I left the ramp. We got another $100 for some kind of achievement. I think this time I'm just going to go again to save up some money, but I'm going to try and jet the penguin straight up. We unlocked the 20 foot ramp, but we're not done with the 10. So we're going to point him upwards and then we're going to glide from here. This is probably a horrible idea. And oh, we can actually really drag this out at the end. Splat. I don't know what we did, but we got another $100 for it. We have 675 total. So I guess we'll give it a little more acceleration and then maybe a little less air resistance. So all we need to do now is reach 70 miles per hour and we've done these achievements as well not sure the best way to do that yet but we're just going to launch him and hope for the best so far so good don't hit the water okay i think this might be pretty valuable for us not sure if we hit our speed goal but we did pretty good money wise we just got paid 300 dollars to crash a penguin into the ocean i did just a little bit of grinding to save up 1000 dollars to buy us a slightly better glider and since we finished all the 10 foot ramp achievements let's move on to the 20 and look how big that is yeah this is gonna work out better our better gliders already carrying us much faster and further so i'm mostly just gonna go along at this angle for now uh we're holding altitude pretty good so far now we're dropping way faster than I thought we would. But look at all that money. And the next rocket costs 2000 so we're definitely able to save up for that. We're going straight to the moon. That might have been a bad choice in hindsight. But look at the speed we can get. Now we're going to glide straight. Maybe we'll even try and skip off the water eventually. I know that's a thing. Because you can go... Whoop. Touch the water. That penguin's probably scared out of his mind right now. We did just get $500 for completing an achievement, which is kind of ironic because I was just trying to send him to the moon there. And another one for $500. So we made $2,000 in a single run, basically. So let's drop a bigger rocket to this idiot and then see what kind of money he's going to make. So what I need to do still is reach 100 miles an hour and travel 650 feet. That sounds like something my upgraded rocket is perfectly capable of doing. We're going to launch him... I don't know, like that. It's kind of hard to tell the trajectory when you can't really see the water or anything. Then we're going to drop and <laughs> crash him into the water. We made $500 on top of $500 for this achievement. Probably hit 100 miles per hour there as he hit the water. Correct. We hit 100 miles per hour, which probably gave him a fairly serious concussion. But let's see if we get him 650 feet now. I don't really know the best way to do this. I'm just going to send him kind of at this angle. Then I'm going to do the jets right now to hopefully carry him the rest of the way we need. Then once we start to lose speed, I'm going to drop him down. 
down and skip him off the water. Didn't expect that to actually work that well. And again. Nope, we're just gonna kind of ride it out and hope we made it 650 feet. And down you go. Looks like we did it. So next, maybe let's just make the ramp height basically as big as we can. And then on top of that, we're also gonna have the 35 foot ramp and he looks like a little ant on top of that. But he's gonna learn to fly one way or another. We're gonna launch him up about that far. We're at almost 100 feet altitude. That's gotta be an achievement by itself. I think we hit 100 and then we're gonna turn him really hard into the ocean. We still made a lot of money on that because we got a $2,000 achievement. Probably because we crashed him into the ocean so fast. The only achievement we got there was for hitting 100 feet uh, elevation. So we're going to do that again. I want to see if we can hit a higher speed though. Let's dive bomb him as quick as we can. <laughs> He's off the screen. At that time we got $700 just for the flight plus another 2000 probably for speed. So let's try a little bit more acceleration for $6,000. So we still need to go for 25 seconds and travel 1500 feet. We could probably accomplish both those things. I can't remember what I just changed but I'm sure it's going to come in handy. We're going to take him up to 100 feet and then kind of glide him down maybe like this and then let him go like that. We should be able to go like this for quite a while. We'll go up and down. I don't know whether it's up or down is better, so we're just going to do both. And eventually we'll hit the water, but we're going to be pretty rich after this one. Wow, we've been going for a while. I've never held a thought for this long in my life. Pretty sure that's going to accomplish both achievements though. $2,000 there and... I think we got the other $2,000. I'm not really sure. Maximum ramp height. Then we'll just go ahead and save up for the next glider and rocket. Combine the two of them and we'll really have something going. We still need to travel 1,500 feet because we didn't do it last time. We're going to have to stay airborne for like nine hours to do this or just fly properly which isn't really something i know how to do yet but so far we're just going to keep gliding kind of like i do in pubg you go down a little bit then level out again and hope that carries us far enough should probably also be skipping off the water it's just very hard to do without being able to see the water because we come up to it at a thousand miles per hour we didn't get it there but we might get it here and we don't need to talk about how that run went i want to see how high i can go and then also how fast Maximum height, then straight down to our death, right off the screen. And it still pays me a lot of money to do that. I can literally plunge a penguin to its death and I get rewarded for it. My strategy on this time is try and hold my altitude as best I can. I'm not moving to the right very quickly, but I'm kind of holding altitude and altitude equals distance over time. I'm not sure if this is worth my time or not. We're going to stay in the air for quite a while longer, which should be money. But as far as distance is concerned, this isn't going to be anything good. And touchdown. Did we make any money? Yeah, we made $2,100 just from doing that. Okay, we've managed to save up $11,500. So we're going to get the big rocket, the Grand Rocket Supreme. That's hopefully going to help me travel the 1500 feet I need. But we're about to find out. It should hit me with a little more thrust yep that's a lot faster than we were going before now we just need to figure out how to actually fly this thing kind of crashed into the water but still made a lot of money so while we're at it let's give the rocket a lot more fuel and then let's fire it right off the bat we're going straight forward to try and hit as fast as possible and we just covered a lot of ground we don't have a lot of altitude but we moved a long ways horizontally and i even managed to actually get a bounce off the water two bounces we might have made it far enough we might not have definitely not that's only 1800 dollars. so let's give ourselves just a little bit more air resistance or rather a little bit less air resistance and then we can use the rocket to push ourselves upwards and that's going to probably look something more like this we're in the red zone for a long time but we hit 150 feet that's definitely the highest we've ever gone and that should carry us pretty far. And I think I found that part where we basically just balance. We're going about 45 miles per hour but we're holding that and it's very consistently losing elevation. I don't know if this is a good or a bad idea but we're just gonna let it go. If I was a wagering man I would say this isn't a good idea mostly because I came up with it. But that's okay that's pretty much what you're here for. And touchdown and our reward for that $3,700 so that definitely worked pretty well. Plus our achievement $2,000 because we definitely made it however far we were trying to make it so the only thing we have left to do really is buy the super glider high-tech sailplane plus we get to upgrade to the 50 foot ramp and that's much bigger than the last one look where we started he's basically in the water at this point in the middle he's pretty high up then he's way high up no, he's ridiculous high up and he's got rockets strapped to him. So the first thing we need to do is fly up to 220 feet and reach 225 miles per hour. So I feel like this is going to be a pretty big step up. But look at the size of this thing. We're going straight up. Uh, how high are we? There's 230 feet. Let's see how far down he can go. Oh, I should have used a rocket going downwards. Not that he needed any help. 
He didn't even come back up yet. Oh, there he is. Achieving complete. There's the easiest $5,000 I ever made. Better make that $10,000. So we got those done. We still need to travel 4,000 feet. We can reach 6,000 feet for something hidden. Slide for 35 seconds. Before we get to all of that, I've got an idea though. We're going to send him up. And then we're going to point him downwards. And jet. Yeah, that's some high speed penguin. I don't know how fast we got going there, but I assume it was pretty fast. I was curious, so I checked the replay, and we hit the water at over 250 miles per hour. So I bet that hurt. We're also going to top up the rocket fuel, and then a little bit more air resistance. We're almost maxed out. So now to try and travel 4,000 feet and glide for 35 seconds. 35 seconds feels like an eternity. But we should be able to make pretty good progress with this super upgraded rocket. We're hitting 160 miles per hour there. And we're coming up to about the top of our trajectory. So we even have a distance meter finally. That's kind of interesting. It's actually going to be pretty hard to hit 4,000. We're not even at 1,500 yet. Although this glider is pretty good. We may not get the distance we want this time, but we'll probably get 35 seconds in the air. Though we're at 2,500 now, we're losing altitude a little bit quicker than I would like. But our distance is up there, so we'll see. It's a very long flight. Okay, so it looks like we might actually hit 4,000 feet on this. I don't know how this works. It's probably supposed to be somewhat hard to do, but I'm just screwing around and kind of making it work. But that's okay, there's 4,000 feet. And now we're just going to go up and down a bunch because I don't really know what to do anymore. There was that like hidden achievement for 6,000 feet though. I feel like we'll need the maximum upgraded glider to hit that though. Whoop, there's the water. We even have a resistance meter now. So, yep, good enough. There's 9,200 for one single run. Definitely got many thousands of dollars worth of achievements. We have $37,000 now. So let's top up our acceleration and air resistance, which costed about $17,000 apparently. So what we got to do now is reach 6,000 feet. Not entirely sure how we're going to do that yet, uh, but we're just going to kind of do it somewhat the same as how we did it before. By flying up as high as we can, then gliding down with as little resistance as we can manage. Because if I'm understanding this correctly, zero resistance means we're flying efficiently. Or or maybe I should use the rockets more later on because at the beginning they might not really do as much as they could be. We're picking up speed at 0% resistance but I kind of like that because then once we get to like 50 feet I'm going to turn it up just a little bit and give us some more distance. Otherwise we'd hit the ocean too soon. But so far this might actually work because we're also making horizontal like movement speed very quick. Whoops, didn't mean to go that hard on it. But there we go, we're still going upwards. Speed is dropping off pretty hard but we're still moving along. Well, my theory didn't really work. I think next time we're going to try the rockets mid-flight. That will probably propel us better. $8,200 for a run that didn't work is still pretty good though. Okay, so let's try it this other way. We're going to launch ourselves upwards with a little bit of resistance. Not too much because I need that altitude. Then I think maybe once I hit the peak of my little run here and we stop gaining altitude, which will be about now, I'm going to launch myself just a little bit higher at 14% um, resistance. That might work. That might not work. Still gaining altitude though, so that's a good start. I'm not really sure the best way to be doing this if I should be going for zero resistance as much as possible, but I'm just happy I have a penguin strapped to a glider with rockets attached to that. This was maybe the worst one yet. I can bounce off the water a little bit, but that's not going to carry me very much further. 3,300 feet. I decided to have some fun and just rocket myself straight forward a little bit to see what would happen. And it's kind of amusing. We got really far really fast, but we're going to lose our speed pretty quick because we don't have any altitude to work with. Although with a better start, that might actually work because we got about the same as last time and this happened much quicker. Plus, it's kind of fun to see how fast we can go. We want like little resistance here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Touch the water. I have no idea how this run's going to go, so we're just going to roll with it. So if we're at 0% resistance, we're actually going to pick up speed. We're at 133 miles per hour and we're going to hit the water again and bring us back down to 0% resistance. I wonder if I can keep skipping my way over like that. That might work. That might also be really stupid because I think we're losing a lot of speed every time we touch the water. But there's 3,600 feet. I did manage to coax this out over 4,000 feet just going like this. I just glide till I lose speed and then I tuck down to do a little U-shaped uh, thing like that. And that actually carries me pretty far. So that's kind of what I'm going to try in this run. We're doing big swoops though. We're going to naturally let ourselves slow down a little bit and come up like this. I have no idea if this is a good idea. Every time I'm swooping low, we are going over 100 miles per hour, which is enough momentum to put us back up. But we're slowly losing altitude over time. We're holding about 100 feet over the water right now, but we're still going pretty strong. So we're going to break 4,000, maybe 5,000 on this one. All right, well, we broke 5,000 for the first time, so we're learning something. Mostly how to crash a penguin into the water. Okay, this one went a little better, mostly because I was still doing my uh, 
moving up and down technique, but I was trying to keep it over 100 miles per hour for as much of that as I could. And we're just about touching the water now, but we did make it 5,400 feet. This next run, I'm using the same strategy, and it's interesting. I am like seven feet off the water, but I think I'm gonna break 6,000. That was close. Well, just to make it dramatic, I wanted to touch the water first by accident. And I did it. I can fly. We finally taught a penguin to fly. You should have seen what I did with the last one. He never came back. Well, good things happen when you strap a rocket to a penguin. Every single time. Unless you get rich doing it no matter what happens. 